All right, back with the legend Barry Burbank, and it started to, it feels a little crisp out there this morning. This morning is crispy cool for sure, but warming up nicely. One of these days in September, I like it when it gets nice and cool in the morning, mm -hmm. get nice sleep during the night, and then it warms up and turns into a beautiful day. But we won't have any 90 degrees today, but we were talking about uh, a long time ago that I thought we'd have about the average number of 90 degree days this summer, or maybe one or two above. The average is 14. Of course, we got another one last Monday. It was 92 in Boston. So we got 15 days, and I think it's a done deal now. We shouldn't have any more beyond that. Although, when you see the seven-day forecast coming up, we're going to get well into the 80s here, especially on Wednesday before the cold air slams us after that. So we've had red squares across the board this week for sure, plus five yesterday. So the mean temperature of September has been going up. It's been very, very dry. We need some rain, and everything's going to change as we get into the beginning of October. We're going to go through some wet times here. You'll see that shortly as well. It's cool times this morning, but starting to warm up nicely. These are the temperatures across the North American continent. Upper 70s, near 80, near, near uh, New, New Orleans right now, and that ranges down to Canada, where it's really very cold. Some of that cold air draining down into western portions of Canada. And so it is really cold in uh, Montana, down into the United States. 73 to 76 south-facing coastal spots today, up to 82 in some east-facing beaches. A southwest breeze may have gusts past 25 miles an hour today. The water temperatures are 62 to 68. The high tide is 11:19 this morning. Not a bad beach day. It'll be great at Fenway Park. You're going to see the uh, last of the season there today and tomorrow with the Orioles. 79 at first pitch this afternoon. 72 at first pitch. 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Again, around 80 to 82 areas west and northwest of Boston. Cooler on the outer part of Cape Ann today and also closer you get to the New England south coast, mostly low to middle 70s there. Here's where all the hot air is. 95 in Nashville today. And there's where the cold air is slamming down into the west. And this frontal boundary here is going to give us a few scattered showers coming up for tonight. So that may be giving us some rain here and there. But this is where it's going to be snowing and snowing hard. In the next couple of days in western Montana, central Montana, they could have one to three feet there in a an historical September snowstorm. While we get a few showers coming along, it looks like western New England has the best shot of getting some showers this evening, maybe up to a half inch of rain in some of the showers and storms. But it looks like it's going to fall apart as it heads eastward. You can see that right here, right now. There come the showers, but look what happens. They just kind of dry up as they head toward Boston later this evening. There's a bit more support going down over Connecticut, so they may have some showers and storms during tonight, but not much is going to be happening here in Boston. We'll have some leftover clouds first thing tomorrow morning over southeastern Massachusetts when it's in the lower 60s and in the lower 60s metro west, but 50s beyond that for lows tonight. So it's not going to be as chilly tonight, but it's not going to be as warm tomorrow as today will be. All along the coast, a bit of a breeze on the ocean, um, coming in from the ocean to upper 60s and middle 70s going inland. Here's the jet stream showing that the warm air is coming up, and there's going to be a big change later this week. As we get a little taste of that warm to hot air on Wednesday, the cold air plunges in here with a storm here uh, Thursday and Friday into Saturday, and that could be a wet one. So the temperature's all over the place. But we start a warm-up on Tuesday, especially in the afternoon. We may go well into the 80s. The record high on Wednesday is 88. We'll see if we get there, but after that, it turns wet and chilly only in the 50s Thursday and Friday.